The newest project that I've affiliated myself with is with Sustainable Surf to work with Eco Surfboards. I honestly had no idea about eco-friendly surfboards. I looked at it like, yeah, sure, it means I get to get another Channel Islands board. I mean, I'm in for whatever. Really stoked on Sustainable Surf. Thank you guys so much for the opportunity to get a new flyer made out of an EPS core foam. And I went in for the epoxy resin. I haven't been able to sit in a resin process, I think, ever. So to be working with eco-friendly tools where we didn't have to use mass, there was no harm to our bodies while throwing the resin on, which I know is a pretty big factor typically when making surfboards. I had a board made out of regular foam material, the exact board, and it lasted about a month. This board I'm going on four months, and I mean, it barely has any indent on the top. I haven't put a ding in it yet whatsoever. And it's been my board that I know I can have. I've been taking it on trips because I know no matter what happens to my other boards, that board's gonna be there. And for me as a professional surfer traveling all the time, it's great to know that no matter what, you're gonna have a board you can ride. Performance-wise, it's incredible. I found that especially the pop out of the board above the lip is insane. Compared to a regular surfboard, I'd say it's as fast, if not faster, and the flex of it's incredible. It opened my mind that there really is so much more out there that we can do little by little. Us, as athletes, for our sport, we have to give back in, in any way possible. And We can't surf without Mother Nature. We can't surf without it being preserved. So if surfboards is the first step, I am 100% in. You know, would I include another eco-friendly surfboard in my quiver? 100%.